Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. This is for Valentine's Day. Well, I I don't do love readings, right? But I thought since it's Valentine's Day, maybe we should do something, right? And so I'm going to give this a try. So um, these are Angel Oracle cards. And this is a general reading. So we're going to pick one card as our base line for you, Aries. Okay, so that popped up and then uh, we'll work with this, okay? And then we'll pick tarot cards um, to clarify. And we'll pick as many as we want, right, to clarify that. Okay, Aries, so if you are interested in personal development and growth, I would like to introduce you to my other channel. And my other channel is on consciousness work, um, spiritual work, as well as shadow work. And the details are in the description box below. All right, so now let's get back to your love reading. Dragonfly, live life to the fullest. So Aries, this is the advice for you. This is the baseline uh, that we are given for this reading. Very interesting. Live life to the fullest. So let's see what the cards say for you in terms of your love life. Okay. So this is for Aries. What does Aries need to know with regards to um, love, romance, and their person? What is it that Aries need to know? Hmm. Okay. All right. So we'll see what the story is. It's coming up. We have two of pentacles, nine of wands. We have the star, two of wands, and ten of wands. Okay. So there seems to be um, Aries. You are looking at balancing of responsibilities here. So if you are struggling with this in your romantic relationship at the moment, maybe you and your partner have some challenges in balancing responsibilities, this is coming up. And the message here really is for you to take some time off. You know, both of you take some time off, um, like, you know, rest, have a little retreat, um, you know, the, the feeling I'm getting is there is a little bit of exhaustion from the relationship. Look at this wounded fox, right? Very wounded, very exhausted. So that's the kind of energy that I'm picking up as well. There's some form of exhaustion. So those of you who are not in a relationship at the moment, you may be exhausted uh, from trying to date or trying to look for a relationship and it may be becoming a little bit too much at the moment so take a short break from that because we do have the star the star card is very nice you know the star card is about renewal about positivity so i feel like because this is a valentine's day reading right i feel like by the middle of february um, or valentine's day for that for that matter you will have a much clearer or much more hopeful uh, sense of your relationships okay your romantic relationship your committed relationship or those of you who are dating you know you are maybe you have this renewed sense of um, wanting to uh, meet your you know divine counterpart or something like that okay and we have we have nine nine of wands which is uh resting right and then ten of wands is exhaustion <laughs> retreat so you have nine ten so this is quite um i feel like because of this you're not living life to the fullest right you, you just need to take a break um maybe the conflicts you know in your relationship at this point in time is just becoming a little too much those of you in committed relationships, those of you who are single, maybe maybe you're pushing too hard for things to happen. Okay? And we have two of wands here. Two of wands is about planning, planning for the future, making a decision, like, you know, the direction you want to take in your relationship and in your life. There is no hurry to make this decision. I would say that's my advice to you. 
no hurry. Um, I feel like everyone is exhausted. Everyone, you know, just needs to take a break and not try to force things. And you know what? Maybe Valentine's Day, don't try to force things too much. Don't try to make things happen. Um, I mean, especially if this message resonates with you, right? I mean, if, if you are an Aries and you have no problems in the relationship, you're not exhausted, you're very happy, then obviously this message is not for you, yeah? So this is a general general reading of where the relationship um, is going and the energies surrounding it, okay? So see, we have the star here as well. So we have two stars. Very nice. So when you have two stars, it is very hopeful, right? It is um, confirming that there is a renewal of energy. So you are feeling much more renewed in your sense of, you know, wanting to date or, you know, in a committed relationship, feeling much more renewed after your rest, okay? So let's see here. What, what do we have? We have King of Cups. King of Cups is being diplomatic, very calm. Th this is emotional stability. All right. So it's either you or your other person. All right. Um, feeling much more stable after the rest. So both of you need some rest. Take a break for, you know, just a short period of time. It's not a forever break, just a short period of time. Um, we also do have the tower moment, right? So the tower often, you know, um, signifies unexpected change so you know with change coming is good I would say it's a positive tower moment and seven of swords this energy usually is about greed or dishonesty now when I feel into the energy um, you know there isn't any of this dishonesty and greed coming from, from you or your counterpart right uh, what this may be indicating also is maybe maybe you can try a different way uh, try an unconventional way of reviving your relationship try an unconventional way you know with the tower moment right try a different way of looking at things now if you're single right and and maybe you've been uh, trying to date going on apps and doing all these things maybe you should try something different Right? Maybe stop using the apps. Maybe meet someone face to face. Maybe go for a networking event or, you know, do something really different. This seems to be saying, indicating that doing something different, not the same old thing over and over again. And we have Page of Cups. Page of Cups is a possibility. This is very positive, right? And there is a message coming in. Maybe uh, for those of you, you will receive a love message from someone that you are interested in, someone that you, you know, have your eye on, you receive a love message, or you are the one sending a love message to the other party. Um, you seem to have to go ahead to do that since you have two stars, right? Um, if you are in a committed relationship and you're tired, right? Both of you are tired in the relationship. Maybe writing a love, tender message to your partner um, would be a nice way to communicate your love. Because this card is about the heart opening to many possibilities. And then you can take your relationship further and deeper. Okay, and then we have Six of Pentacles. This is about giving and receiving. It is about balancing. What is it that is not balanced in your relationship? Maybe it's time to rebalance things in your relationship. And you know what? With two star cards, I feel like it is very hopeful, you know, especially for those of you who are struggling and you feel like you're giving up hope in your relationship, in your marriage, in your committed um, connection. Uh, two star cards really is very, very positive. You know, it's like saying, give it another go, you know, give it another chance. Um, those of you are single, right? Uh, it is very positive. It just means that um, the stars are aligned, you know, and you can meet your divine counterpart. And um, those of you who are dating and you're looking for a deeper commitment from your spouse, this seems like a good time as well when you have the two star cards, you know, like the stars are aligned. And, uh, but you must watch for the stability, right? Lean into the King of Cups.
King of Cups is about stability, calmness, being diplomatic in how you are communicating. So, you know, it is a, it is a very, very positive um, kind of energy that can support you as you move forward in your relationship, Aries. Okay, so Aries, if this resonates, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's pick more cards. Let's see what else does um, Aries need to know with regards to their romantic relationship or potential romantic relationship. Now, if you like these sort of love readings, let me know, right? Because I don't do love readings, but um, if people enjoy them and it resonates with you, please comment and let me know so that, you know, I can continue doing them. Maybe I can do them on a monthly basis for those of you interested. All right, so let's see. Let's see what else does Aries need to know. Okay, so this is a very interesting deck because the Major Arcana is in French. And so I do need to watch out, look at the numbers before I know what well, sometimes I can guess, right? So, <laughs> this is the High Priestess. Okay, the High Priestess energy. High Priestess is sacred knowledge, mystery, the subconscious. Uh, we have Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and we have Page of Cups. Okay, so what does this mean? I feel like, you know, um, there is something bugging you in your relationship is in your unconscious maybe it's time you know to look at some of your past wounds you know relationships are very telling right how we interact with our counterpart is very very telling of our deeper wounds our unconscious wounds these are all the shadow energies right that we tend to project onto our partner and whatever we judge or whenever we are triggered is really within our own unconscious so this is a very interesting card that has come up. I'm telling you that whatever is in your unconscious and that is being triggered by your partner is something that you need to look at and work worked on. Right? Because there is a new opportunity for growth. This this indicates new opportunities, uh, new opportunities in you know in your workspace, in your material world, maybe also new opportunities to have another child. You know, if, if both of you are thinking of having a baby, this is an opportunity, is a good time, all right? You don't have to go into despair. This is an energy of despair, feeling like you are isolated and dis feeling despair. But because you're supported by the Page of Cups, Page of Cups is about... Didn't we get... Yes. <laughs> so we have this Page of Cups, two Page of Cups, right? Is about possibilities. It's about a message. It is very positive, right? So do not allow despair to be the main energy, right? Um, you could also be uh, not necessarily feeling despair, but feeling maybe um, the, the energy I'm picking up is feeling a bit lost, like not knowing what is best for your relationship, not knowing which direction to go. Uh, what decisions to make, right? So you are asked to lean onto King of Cups, lean into the star card, star, two stars, lean into Page of Cups. Page of Cups is really about possibilities and to believe that there are, you know, positive possibilities and outcomes coming up. But, you know, watch for the unexpected change. I feel it's a positive unexpected change. So it is good. And uh, know that the new opportunity, look at this, look at this, very powerful, right? The new opportunity energy, it's like the sun. It looks like the sun with two hands, right? Holding, holding the sun. So it is very positive. And these are the unconscious, unconscious energies that may be driving both of you, uh, you know, making you feel tired and fight. You know what? Fights are very common in relationships and you should fight, right? Because uh, that's how we grow. That's how we learn. But the thing is not to fight forever. <laughs> you know, whenever you fight, you make up and lean into the king of cups. And this is how relationships grow. Now, if you have a judgment towards 
fighting, then you will find that you will struggle a lot in your relationship because you're not giving it a chance to blossom. You you judge the fighting. You think that fighting is bad. Fighting is just a form of communication. And sometimes because when you're not hurt, right, and that's where you raise your voice and that's where you fight because you want your partner to hear you, okay? All in all, I feel like for your reading, you're just giving some, you're giving some, you know, pep talk on how to proceed further in your relationship um, and if you're single you know is telling you that there are possibilities and that is a good time you know if you want to enter a new relationship it is a good time and um, lean into the king of cups right so Aries I hope that you enjoyed this reading have a wonderful Valentine's Day and I will see you again bye for now